Y'all, don't it look like a lizard or something? It looks so scary and nasty. <laughs> I know how I normally do my face mask Fridays, but today, <laughs> what I just saw, I can't hold that camera like that. Y'all, my face is a hot moving mess. Hold on. Ball, Samantha wanna pop up. You know, it's that time of the month. Y'all know what happens. Ladies, y'all know what happens when it's that time of the month. Somebody come to town. And then her cousin, want to slide in too. So yeah, my video is gonna be a little different today. It's gonna be a little different, but y'all know I'm mahogany. We on a journey to perfect skin. <laughs> we are on a journey to be a no makeup mommy. But right now it's a process, but I'm a woman. I'm pretty sure a lot of women are watching this. Y'all understand what goes on with our skin during that time of the month. So I'm gonna do this video vlog style because I just, it's bothering me too much to sit the camera on my tripod with the light hitting me like that. I just, I don't even wanna look at it to edit it. Mm -mm. So <laughs> I know, that's bad, whatever. So today, oh, I did want to say guys, before I get started, so I know that the governor is saying that we can go back outside. Well, not necessarily saying that we can go back outside, but he's deciding to open up businesses again. But I really think that we should just sit this out and really continue to quarantine and keep ourselves safe and keep our family safe because we don't know what's really about to happen. And if you guys would like to keep referring back to history, I think we all should really read history and see what happened back in 1918 with the Spanish flu. So definitely go back and check that out and see what happened and see why it happened because of lack of quarantine. So definitely go check that out guys. But yes, so today back to the face mask, back to being no makeup mommy. Clay mask, y'all know how I feel about these clay masks, but today we're gonna be doing an anti-stress Dead Sea Minerals clay mask. Yes, cause I, I've been stressing a little bit about everything. So I need an anti-stress. So we're gonna do the anti-stress clay mask. It clears your pores and it balances your skin out. So this is what we're doing today. So this is the mask today. We're gonna try this out and see how we like it, okay? on for 10 to 15 minutes or until it's dry it does not say to do it on wet or dry skin so i'm just gonna do it on my skin now because like i said before y'all know how i feel about clay masks i don't like how drying they are so i'm gonna just do it while i still have damp skin okay
All right, so this is the mask. I try to bring it down my neck some as close as I could get it, but it couldn't get very, very far. But this is the mask. It says to keep it on for 10 to 15 minutes or until it dries, whichever comes first. And I'm just gonna do something during this time. I might watch, um, finish watching Money Heist, y'all. That show is giving me anxiety. Has anybody seen that yet? It's giving me anxiety. Am I the only person that hasn't seen, um, is it Tiger King or something like that? I haven't watched it yet. Who's watched it? How? Do, what, what do y'all rate it? Is it good? Is it worth watching? Let me know. Let me know. Okay, so it has been, I just left it on for like an hour and a half. I really just was chilling. My face was itching, y'all. Don't it look like a lizard or something? It looks so scary and nasty. But this clay mask, I wasn't that mad at this one. It, it, it itched. It did itch. Don't get me wrong. But it wasn't as bad as uh, the other one that I tried. But now I'm going to rinse it off. It does itch, though. All right. Let's rinse this thing off. Okay. We are done with the face mask. Y'all, I learned a trick for the clay mask. To take it off, just continue to put warm water on your hand and just rub in circular motions real gently and then it starts to come off. And that was way easier than grabbing a rag because y'all know I don't like rags. So I just grab, you know, I just wet my hands and rub it until it started to come off and it wasn't bad. I like, I like. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't bad at all. That was the anti-stress Dead Sea Minerals clay mask. That was good. And it's for all skin types. And it clears the pores and renews the skin. So that was actually good. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at it at all. I like that one. I can see that it did something. It even reduced the appearance of my pimples kind of not major but it went down a little bit just a little bit i like that mask though i feel like it really did clean my skin yes so i rate that mask a seven yeah i like it and i would actually do it again so i rate that mask a seven but i am gonna do something anytime i have a really bad breakout i put this on my pimples for spot treatment so i'm gonna put this on my face that is all for today face mask fridays i just want to thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to comment and subscribe and join the tribe and if you have any other recommendations for face mask just drop it down in the comment section okay if you have not watched the face mask series from episode one through four, I'm going to leave the link down in the description box. So definitely go check it out. Again, thank you so much for watching Face Mask Fridays. And until next time, don't forget that you're beautiful. Peace. So I just sleep with this at night. Just put this on my face and sleep with it all night.